Welcome to Transition. Uh, this is an amazing day uh, for Noah and I, something we started last year as our first uh, ever transition. And uh, this is a day I'm just incredibly uh, proud to be uh, part of Percolate. Uh, and so with that, I will say uh, hello. And to all of you, thank you for coming. Uh, again, today is a day uh, filled with a lot of really interesting speakers and people. Uh, and I know you're all very busy. Uh, and I know it's not easy to take a whole day uh, and come in and do a, a, a conference like this, so I really, really appreciate it. A lot of people have asked me, uh, what does transition have to do with percolate, right? Uh, I've had clients ask me this, and uh, you know, some of our employees even have asked me this. Uh, some of our investors have asked me this, maybe not in the nicest way. Um, <laughs> But uh, in some ways, the honest answer is Percolate has nothing to do uh, with transition in the traditional sense that you would think a company like us might put on an event, right? Uh, this is, today is not a typical client summit. It's not a day where we discuss product roadmap or the products that are coming out. Uh, today is really about the, the larger world. And that, at the same time, is everything to do with Percolate, right? What Noah and I believe when we started the company uh, was the way we were going to build a great company was we were gonna bring the brightest minds together, the most talented artists, the most talented engineers, uh, the most talented people in business that were curious about a lot of things, and we were gonna make a great company. And so transition in, in almost any way is the greatest personification on who we are and what we do at Percolate. And ideally what you're gonna see and what we're so excited about is transition is a reflection of the amazing times that we're living through, right? And hopefully you'll see this with the speakers uh, that come out today. And tr transition also represents huge changes, right? Changes happening all around us that if you just go day in and day out, you might not actually notice these changes, right? So we really want you to sort of sit back and look at how some of these changes uh, will really affect your world, will affect culture, and will affect the overall society. And then again, we have a very simple view for our clients that are out there on why you should come to transition. And that is we believe that actually the greatest marketers and the people that are most interested in marketing are actually curious about much broader topics around the world. And that curiosity is actually what makes the greatest marketing, right? I don't know a single great marketer who just cares about marketing, right? They care about a much broader set of topics. And that inspiration, that curiosity, that that, that, that reading, that consumption of everything makes you the amazing person you are. Um, so with that, today, Percolate is 1,728 days old. Um, this is something we often do uh, with our staff at all hands meetings. We always, we talk oftentimes in days when we have a big feature release or we have our, uh, you know, sort of beginning of the year summit. And the idea behind this is we're trying to help people realize how important every day is, sort of day in and day out, and how if we could do things every day, we're going to build a better company. And I have to say, 1,720 days into it, I'm damn proud at what we've been able to build at Percolate. Uh, but the challenge in thinking in days, it's a very short-term view on things, right? It's very condensed, uh, and it doesn't allow you to think beyond, in, in the case of a day, 24 hours. Uh, and this is what we do often, right? We have very short-term views on the world and very short-term views on what we want to get done. And for today, again, from a transition perspective, what we want to focus on is longer-term trends, right? Things that are truly happening in the world that we think, again, will change our day-to-day -day in time. And if we can sit back and look at it, um, it's really going to impact how we think about running our business, the ideas that we might want to come up with, and why we even wake up on a day-to-day -day basis. So with that, that's going to kick off Transition 2015. What I want to do now is take you through a couple of the macro trends that we're going to look at today. Um, the day is, is, it sort of revolves around three core themes. And these themes are, are going to be bucketed and where as speakers will basically align with these different themes. And so the first thing that we come out and say at Transition is we are in a transition to a richer world, right? It's kind of a bold thing to say, right? Not everyone, of course, will feel this impact. But overall, if you look at the data, right? from where we're at right now in 2015 to where we'll be uh, by 2030. As the World Bank defines the global middle class, that's people that make 10 to $100 a day, that number currently sits at 1.8 billion people. And that number, almost unequivocally based on the trends, will be at 5 billion by 2030. Right? So it's going to be a very different world when you have this much larger global middle class right, all around the world. The second big trend we're going to look at is moving to a more connected world. Again, this trend is something we feel here in the United States day in and day out.
but for the rest of the world, it's not something that they've ne necessarily felt. And so what I mean by a more connected world is access, ubiquitous access, to the internet, to information, to the network that we, of course, use on a day-in and day-out basis. So currently, there's, almost, there's a little over 3 billion people on the internet. And most projections, because of proliferation of things like um, cellular technologies and cellular networks, say that we'll actually get to almost 6 billion people on the internet by 2030, and again, another, another uh, 15 years. And trying to understand or predict what that means is actually really hard, right? We don't know, uh, we, I mean, we know some things about networks. You're, you'll, you're here, you're, you'll hear physicists today talk about networks, um, but it's very hard to predict exactly what will happen. But our bet on it is it's gonna be a good thing, and it's gonna be a good thing for the world. And then the final trend um, that we're gonna talk about today is a world run on software. Uh, and if for folks that were at the client summit earlier this year, you would have known we talked a lot about this concept of the information age. This is the current technology revolution we think we're living through, right? The information age really kicked off in the early 1970s uh, with the advent of what we now call Moore's Law, which is basically computing hardware becoming cheaper, faster, uh, and more accessible to more people. In the early 90s, we also, of course, had the innovation of the, the World Wide Web Internet as we know it today. And software is sort of that glue, that glue between the ubiquitous networks and connections that we now have and all of the computing and the incredible computing that we now have in our pockets, in our workspaces, and all around us, uh, of course, with the, the proliferation of things like uh, the Internet of Things. And so just to break this down from a marketing perspective, right, and for the people that are here that are our clients that work at large enterprises, the question I want you to ask yourself is how do you think about the world in 15 years that's richer, more connected, and you have access to actually talk to them. You have access to actually hopefully sell them your products or services uh, or goods, right? So this is a standard power law. Uh, this is the power law of, of any company, actually. Um, specifically, in this case, this is Coca-Cola in, in the UK in 2005. But this power law would work for any company. And what this shows you is how many people bought a Coca-Cola product in the United Kingdom in 2005. And you can see the power law follows this curve, where the majority of people have never actually bought one or bought one in this year, right? And then you know, the next majority is one, the next majority is two. And this is the law for any company. The law for Percolate, of course, is in the billions of people that haven't bought or used Percolate before. Um, but every company will follow this law. And the important thing to realize, of course, with this world that we're moving to in this transition, is we could start to realize this power law really shifting for, type, for certain types of companies, right? For consumer packaged goods, this will have a profound impact on the products and services that you actually sell. For a company like uh, Johnson Controls or GE, you're going to be able to think about building products that will you know, move more people around the world, right? So this has an impact on everyone. It doesn't just mean if you sell soap, the world's gonna change. Any company that does anything will change because of these trends and because of these laws. So this power law, again, is something that I think is very important, is for something for us to always keep in mind. And then with that, of course, what we know is the future will just be different, right? It won't be anything uh, like the past that we'll leave behind, and we just have to be really, uh, of course, comfortable with that. And because of these, these themes and the world that we're living in um, and the idea and the curiosity of today, we were able to get speakers that I don't think we'd ever be able to get, of course, if we were just having another marketing conference. So we have everyone from physicists to Oxford economists to the author of a book about Treconomics uh, to John Maeda, the former president of, of RISD, to Felix Salmon, uh, to the newest CMO of GE as of two days ago. Let's give it up for Linda Boff. That's pretty awesome. I also think she's gonna talk about the correlation between people that use Percolate and then becoming a CMO. I've heard that's, uh, <laughs> that's a big part of her talk, just FYI, um, very important. Uh, so the day is just filled with amazing people, people that hopefully you admire, and that's the reason why you're here today. Um, and then we also got one late stage candidate coming in. Uh, it's, it's rumored that he's gonna come by. I, I haven't confirmed it yet, but uh, it'd be great to see if the Pope shows up. Uh, other important note on the Pope, just to, you know, for people that are in business, oftentimes a lot of people credit with, with Microsoft with having the first product that had a billion users in Windows. Um, and then of course you had Google and now you have Facebook with over a billion users. But you, know, you could make the argument that the Catholic Church, uh, first brand with over a thousand people, actually a part of it. Uh, first, first, first brand with over a billion users. 
Um, so one thing to keep in mind throughout the day in the theme, and I think this is important, and this is a reflection of the brand of Percolate uh, in who we are, uh, and you can definitely disagree with us on this point um, because this is something that we kind of put the stake in the ground on, uh, but it might not be something that you feel the same way about, and that's okay. Um, and that point is that we're optimists at Percolate. Um, you can be optimistic about the future, you can be pessimistic about the future, you can be, um, you know, sort of so-so about the future. Uh, we're definitely optimistic. We believe the future will be better than the past. Um, but we don't do it in, in any sort of naive way, right? Uh, because we're also determinists. And what that means is we believe we can actually build a better future, right? So we're determined to do it. So we believe that the future will be better, and we're actually determined to make that happen. And that really, again, is what transition is about. So with that, I want to thank, of course, you and everyone that's here. Um, but I also want to specifically thank our clients. Because uh, without our clients, we couldn't do a day like today, right? People that believe in us believe that we could put on days like today, that we can build the software that we build, and we can make their day, we can make their day better, we can make their companies better. Um, so co clients that we had in 2011 when we first started the company that believed in us when we had just started, clients that we had in 2012 that believed in us when we were still just very young, clients that believed in us in 2013 that, again, we're still a very young company doing what we're doing, 2014, you guys might see a trend starting to happen here. Logos are getting smaller. And then this year, right? People that are in the audience today, we're incredibly proud uh, of the work that we do with you. We're incredibly proud, of course, to give you the types of products that can make your day better. Um, so with that, I want to bring up Noah to kick it off talking about systems. <laughs> 